All right, thanks, Dylan. Uh, things are going along pretty well. The storm started out extremely slow. Some of our pre-wetting agents did a very good job at the beginning. Uh, now the intensity's picked up a little bit, and the drivers are out staying up with it, and the streets are still all passable. Uh, I would caution people to drive with care, back off a little bit, and there are some slick spots, so be aware of that. Our plan of attack is twofold. We met with what we call our A team and our B team drivers. Right now we have our B team drivers out, or relief drivers. They started at noon, and they'll work until 9 o'clock tonight. And that's who's out on the streets, maintaining the streets right now. At 9 o'clock, we have a second shift that comes in. Uh, we call it the A shift. And they'll work from 9 until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. The way this storm is originally uh, was interpreted was to start about 7 a.m. this morning and last until about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, it's, everything's been pushed back. It uh, didn't actually start in earnest until about 11, 11.30 today, and now the weather projection is that it's going to last until about 10, 10.30 tomorrow. So we'll still see some of the remnants of this storm tomorrow as well. We're not anticipating anything out of the ordinary. We're not the intensity of the storm is not high intensity. There's not ice associated with this. It's one of our what we call typical snows, if there is such a thing. Um, what isn't typical of this snow? It's our driver's first snow event of the year. So this is the time when we're pushing our equipment, making sure that there's minor adjustments that need to be made in the field. Some of our augers may not be working quite properly. And those are, we have mechanics on duty right now that as those needs are faced by our drivers, they're reported, they bring it in real quick, Mechanics make the fix, and they're right back out on the streets. So it's running pretty efficiently right now, knock on wood.